Channel 1 installation is nearing completion. Vice Admiral Thrawn has returned on the Victory Class Star Destroyer Stalwart. Thrawn wishes to formally inspect the project's construction work that has been done so far. Vice Admiral will fly over to the NL-1, inspect it briefly, then fly back to the stalwart. Needless to say, it is of extreme importance that Thrawn's transport proceed safely. You will fly a combat patrol mission until the Victory Class Star Destroyer stalwart arrives. Advanced missiles will be allotted. The NL-1 installation is nearing completion. As our construction on the NL-1 station nears completion, Vice Admiral Thrawn wishes to conduct a formal inspection of the facility. Be prepared to escort his transport from the stalwart to the station. When Vice Admiral Thrawn has completed his inspection, we will require you to escort him back to his Star Destroyer. You will be the flight leader in a TIE bomber designated Alpha-1. You will have one wingman. Almost all of our TIE fighters and interceptors are out of service and undergoing maintenance repairs at this time. We have no choice but to use the TIE bomber in a defensive role something it was not designed to do. If and when combat occurs, you'll need all your Starfighter Savvy to hold your own. Fortunately, your craft will be specially equipped with a double load of 16 advanced concussion missiles. These brand new missiles are faster, have better homing capability and carry a larger warhead than the standard concussion missiles. A supply craft is standing by, waiting to reload your weapons should you run out. We do not have reliable intelligence on the Rebels' present strength in this area.
Radio message received, Alpha-1, using your target for attack. Primary mission objectives complete. The Emperor will be pleased. Time on the group. 
defeated the rebel attack. It was a close call, but Vice Admiral Thrawn survived unscathed. He was impressed with our ability to improvise with the TIE bomber and use it effectively in a defensive role. 